See how crazy the lighting is? It's crazy because you can really see the sheen off of the Buster Sword. Crazy. Look at all that texture quality, man. This is PS5. Welcome to part 10, I think, of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Alright, so... Hey, let's go to Jesse's house to get the payment. When in reality, we, she should really get a girlfriend because she she wants that dick sporting goods. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? Not happening. Ah, sorry. Little too in your face? I'll just have to change it up then. <laughs> Nighty night. Psych! <sighs> He'd probably be like, oh damn, this sucks. <laughs> Oh, God. But let's say no promises, just to be fair. <sighs> no promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, Louche, Black Millie, Red Shelly. I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. That'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Goddamn, man. She really wants that D. Psych. <laughs> she really wants... Oh, that's a good frame. <laughs> oh, that's a good frame. That's a good frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my God! Uh, she she really do be she really do be like that though. You know, some might call it annoying, but I call it finally, f f finally, freaking personality, Jesus! <laughs> because if you probably can guess, like the avalanche in the original game, they were just like, they were they were they, they, they were definitely characters. They, they were definitely characters. Let me tell you what. Uh, like, does anyone really miss them in the original? I bet not. No. But, yeah. Anywho, time to hit the sack. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry. He was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? Like you're losing that hard edge. 
that bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa. wrong come with me quickly we were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us the others Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground but for how long I don't know let's go right Ready? You know it! Whenever you have a tough fight up ahead, pay attention to when the menu pop icon pops up. Then hold the square button to set up to make sure that the menu will show up before a pretty... before a pretty tough fight up ahead. The barrier material we got from Jesse will allow us to use barrier, the mana ward, and then mana wall. This will protect against physical damage and then eventually magic damage and then, you know, both types of those things. Alright, we have assists equipped. And... Yep. We're good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's head for the bar. Mysterious Spectres. Here we go. All right. Let's check them out. Do it right. Physical attacks only have a slight effect on their stagger gauge, so use magic attacks to fill it up rapidly. They're immune to well, basically those statuses. So, yeah. <laughs> they have no weaknesses, but they also have no resistances either, so be careful of them. They have Impale, which can deal damage, obviously. Their regular damaging move. So be sure to use your magic spells whenever possible. And if they're in a group, uh, you can utilize you can utilize fire because that will uh, that will cause damage to enemies within range, basically. And not just, and they won't be on just a single target either. All right. All right, Tifa, you can use Thunder. And Cloud, you can just finish him. What are these things? No idea. I'm pretty sure you can't even see them unless they make physical contact first. More of them? We're running out of time. Any other way? Yeah, over here. Again? Are they trying to stop us from reaching the others? Cloud, this way. You've got to be kidding me. Trying to fight a hurricane. Stay on your feet. You don't have to tell me that.
Enigmatic Spectre. That's the big guy. And of course, we all know what this means. If there's a big guy, then we gotta take care of the little guys first. So let's do this. Normally, attacks only have a slight effect on its stagger gauge, but the gauge fills up more quickly after it's been interrupted. How do you interrupt it? By killing those specters, obviously. Afterwards, it'll get pressured, and that's your opportunity to attack. Of course, you want to take care of them. Of course, you want to take care of them as soon as possible. And, yeah. Just take care of all the mysterious specters. That way, uh... Ooh, I'm nearly out of that. Oh, uh, I wanted to... Stagger them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, okay, please. Okay, okay, okay. Black hole, black hole, please, thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, let's use, actually, wait. Unbridled strength. And then take care of it. Yeah, see, now this battle can actually be kind of a challenge, honestly. Like, this battle can actually be kind of a challenge if you don't know what to do. Because they'll often they'll often use Impale. So, they'll often use Impale to damage you while also they have really high defense. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Come on, man. I was going to get him with Whirly Oh, then we could end it, but no. Apparently not. We can't have fun here. Okay. Might as well just take care of these ones. And now we have an example of Tifa's Limit Break. Somersault. Exactly! Okay. Oh, gee. Yeah, see, and they can also bind you too, so... That's something. But I feel like now's an important time as ever to activate the summon here. Duty calls. Summons unique abilities. Summons fight alongside you for a brief period, and their remaining time is indicated by their gradually decreasing gauge. These beings have a will of their own and can engage the enemy as they see fit. However, you can command them to unleash unique attacks by expending your party member's ATB gauges. When the summon gauge is completely depleted, then they'll unleash an ultimate attack before they leave. So, for example, Chocobo Chick can use uh, Choco Fire, Choco Blizzard, Choco Thunder, or, or Choco Gust. These are basically the elemental attacks that they have. And every one of them will work against these guys. So let's kill them with the chocobo, shall we? We can just kill them with chocobos, no problem. Uh, choco fire. And then I can use a uh, choco gust on this guy because I really want to stagger him. I want to stagger him as part of the uh, as part of the thing, as part of the uh, stagger. Battle Intel. There we go. That is what we are talking about. Oh my god. Okay. Fine. You just gotta take care of all these because apparently these are a wall. And once the summon gauge is up, Choco Flare. Very good indeed. Very good stuff indeed. Give me your best shot. Okay, this is like annoying now. <laughs> okay, fine. Cast fire twice. Actually, three times. God. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast fire on you then. 
It's best probably best to just use magic attacks then. Yeah. So just kill a mysterious specter. Then, once it's vulnerable, just cast a really strong uh, magic on it. Time to burn. Okay. Get that. Oh god, uh Tifa. <laughs> Uh, fill that ATB thing. Get Cloud up there. Then, Fira. Please, God. No, it's so this thing's not gonna give up without a fight, huh? Oh my God, <laughs> this is like taking it forever. Okay, you're dead. How's your ammo? Running low! <laughs> Some kind of... I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit have come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but... Yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? Did, did, does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man! <coughs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. All right, everyone, clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? Hmm. Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? Hmm. <laughs> This will help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. <sighs> Surprisingly, you didn't say ex-soldier boy. Forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. After you guys come back from the plate, maybe we can play around together. Relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think I'll never have a starring role. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks. I need them. Hurry back now. 
You don't want my home cooked pizza to get cold. Pizza, hell yeah. With old wedge in charge, this place will be safer than ever. Pizza, hell yeah. Do it for the pizza wedge, come on. But yeah, you get that luck up material for uh oh my god. <laughs> Man, that battle was kind of—I—I I kind of forgot how how annoying that battle can be. <laughs> just, just all those mysterious specters just coming at you, and like that whole barrier that they put around with. Yeah, and and they're and they have like really high defense too, so it's like, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, Barrett, you can be in charge of the Ifrit materia. Barrett's standard weapons only have one materia slot, so yeah, he just got he's just got delegated to lightning and healing. Meanwhile, we have the cool toys. We have uh all that. So now at this point, uh you can upgrade uh Barrett's weapons too. Which is all well and good in the hoods. Alright. Let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. And of course, as I explained already, you can change equipment of allies who are not in the party, which is very nice. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, of course, nobody's going to beat my ass. Um... Let's uh, get everybody in. Let's get everybody in order before we uh, end things here today. Okay. So cloud, clouds, iron blade, and uh, Buster Sword. Uh, you got, you got enough for one more thingy. For one more uh, upgrade. So we're gonna do magic attack on that. And as for Cloud's Iron Blade, <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying iron like that these days. I just like saying it like that. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, no, we don't have any defense up for that. So we're, good. we're just going to put, we're just going to prioritize uh, magic. Damn, the Buster Sword really is better in all the ways, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, dude, like, yeah, dude, like, the Buster Sword is just kind of OP right now. Uh, do I want to go for either Materia Slot or... Yeah, I'd rather go for HP, honestly. And as for Barrett and his Gatling Gun... Uh, we already have the two core, the two big cores opened up. So we can just upgrade all of these. We get another materia slot. We get more attack power. We get more magic attack power and more HP. However, for this one, we can either choose defense, magic defense, HP, new materia slot, attack power, or magic attack power. Yeah, no, like, Barrett's... Yeah, we're going to go for just regular attack then. It's fine. So Barrett's ability with Gatling Gun is Focus Shot, a custom order gun commissioned specifically to take down Shinra forces. Yes, that I, I read that as the as the item description, not the actual ability description. Consume all ATB charges to unleash a concentrated burst of energy, significantly increases stagger. So that's good. Um. I'm definitely gonna want to do that whenever we get Barrett. Whenever we get Barrett into the actual party. As for Barrett, uh, let's let's equip the Midgar Bangle on him. Let's reduce his damage output to el to the elements. And uh, let's, yeah. Let's put Crescent Moon Charm on that because I don't know if I'm. Yeah, no, Superstar Belt. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that'll be good. Uh, do I have anything else? Do I have anything else that I want to do actually? 
Well, first things first, I do want to actually... I do want to actually check out the uh, weapons shop really quick because I really... Because I hope there's some more... I hope there's actually some more weapons that we can actually uh, take care of for right now. Because we're not going to be back here for a while. Uh, no. Nothing new. Okay, that's kind of dis okay. That's kind of disappointing. And what about you, Sonic? Or maybe it's just an entirely different guy altogether. I don't know. <laughs> you know that. You know that's disappointing. That's that's a little bit disappointing. That. Uh, yeah. No, I can't even. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't even do that. Like. Shh. Jeez. I can't even check in with Chatley either because we didn't get like the battle intel or anything. We almost got enough for Stagger Effect Part 2, but nothing else. Uh, does he have anything? I hope if we... No. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, nobody... Yeah, nobody... Nobody has anything. Yeah, nobody, nobody's got anything, which is just kind of, which is just kind of disappointing. I mean, I mean, what about, what about you? Uh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, nobody, yeah, nobody's got anything. I am very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in humanity right now. I mean, more than I already am. Um, okay. So, yeah, they... Yeah, people are... Yeah, people are just talking about... People are just talking about what happened. And we got the news report. Leading all of us to wonder if this is only a prelude to greater violence. Shinra's gonna stop him, right? I mean, they gotta. So I don't even want to think about it. It's literally just like, you know, Midgar feels, Midgar feels more real than it ever has been before. Like, Midgar was a very cool setting in the original, but I never really felt I cared for, cared for the city before. But now I do. It's like... What would happen if you actually gave these guys some make these guys feel like real people? Sir, I got my hands on tickets for the Loveless musical. Would you like to go with me? You do realize we're on duty. The slums are avalanche territory. Stay sharp. Right. Sorry, sir. It's just that never mind. You know like these guys. Like seriously, like those guys. There are monsters on the plate. <laughs> like I it, it's pretty good stuff. Like, they may be NPCs, but what's good is good. I mean, also, what's probably bad is bad is that the fact that you have to go through these long, winding hallways just to get to, just to get to the places that you need to be. That's kind of the thing. Chadley, what the heck are you doing here? You've exceeded my expectations. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. Chatley, how the frick did you get over here? <laughs> like, how in the hell? I look forward to receiving how? Battle intel How'd you get here ahead of me? Did you, you teleport it? You were freaking teleported, did you? Yes, you did. I think like I think like once you're ready, you can talk to Barrett and. Uh, you know, he can, he can, he'll basically tell you, hey, do you want to go or not? Nah? All right, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then, what are you waiting for? Finish up so we can get going. You know what's a cool addition to Barrett, though, that I haven't really mentioned before? His sunglasses. His sunglasses are dope as hell. <laughs> Like I honestly thought that would be his new look when I when I saw him in like one of the few first trailers, like one of the very first like gameplay trailers was like 
I think it was 2017 or 18 when this game was first shown. Like, not... It was a different build back then. And honestly thought, like, the glasses would be, like, part of, like, Barrett's new quote-unquote redesign. But what do you mean encoder overloaded? Oh, God. Nice. Okay. I honestly thought that would be, like, part of his, like, new quote-unquote redesign. But except, except, well, the characters aren't really being redesigned at all. They're just being updated for, like, you know, new consoles. But I think Barrett's sunglasses are still pretty cool. Next time on Final Fantasy VII Remake, we get on that train and commence the mission. See you guys on the next time. Bye.